You look just like the Gorton's fisherman. Turn your head that way just a little bit. Look at that, man. You are ready to go. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Just wash your hands. Oh, oh, oh. What? What? We got a problem. Good morning. So we're slamming our brakes on because the light turned yellow. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. What? What? We got a problem. What? Our brakes just totally smoked back there. Okay. Uh, is this a big driveway? I don't know. Yeah, it's a grocery store. It did not like that. Are your brakes on too high? No. No. Grocery outlet. Yep. Maybe I put them on a little bit too hard. Over there. We were going to. Well, I can't get in there. No. <laughs> now we're just trying to find a spot to pull over and see well, what you the can heck turn just happened. Into one of these lanes. There's a nice empty one right there after that Mustang. So I put on the brakes rather quickly and I looked in the mirror and I saw smoke coming out, but I don't see, you can smell it. When we had the tires changed just like a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, if that, I had the brakes checked as well and everything was fine. Tire pressures are fine. I checked them before we left. Huh. Strange. Never seen that happen before. So we drove maybe like a mile and a half with minimal braking. The right side, they're cool to the touch. The left side where we're smoking, they are hot. So we're gonna we're gonna pull over and go to Les Schwab and our brakes looked at so that these were pretty hot to the touch after not much driving right in here Les Schwab and they're gonna pull everything check everything but we're looking at least $240 just because they gotta pull everything off and just to be, to be safe and sorry so we're gonna drop it and go find something to do we just left Les Schwab's. Les Schwab's? Les Schwab's. Schwab. We're, we just left Les Schwab Tire Company here in, in Florence. And uh, all the brakes, they, they got it figured out. So for some reason, the brakes on the driver's side on Casper were a lot tighter than those on the right. So they were doing all the work. And when I kind of popped on the brake this morning, they really set it off. So that's what was causing the smoke. And when we left, we dropped him off at 10.30 this morning, we thought this was going to be at least probably 300 bucks because they said we were probably going to take things apart. And they didn't, they were booked, so they kind of fit us in in between other people that were scheduled. So about four and a half hours after we left him, he called and said, hey, we got underneath there and it was blatantly obvious that that driver's side was, was way too tight. So they, they, they got everything leveled out. Um, so they're both equal and because we just spent you know over 700 bucks on new tires with them at a different store for free it was free it was free so more i guess the big thing here is we, we could have just gone and we probably would have had an accident they, they, they probably would have locked up on some roads um but and we, since we're along the oregon coast you don't want that to happen yeah and you know i we stayed around town for a while and I thought and I thought and thought and I just said, you know, it's just not worth it. Let's just go. She said to let's just get it checked out. Uh, so what could have been a bad day uh, turned out to be a small inconvenience, but we ended up, we had a great lunch. 
got to take Corbin to the movie he's been waiting for. Yeah. So, and he enjoyed it. We all enjoyed it. <laughs> well, at least us too enjoyed it. I don't know if this guy did. He laughed a few times. I laughed a lot. It was a good movie. So, we had other plans for today, but sometimes those plans don't work out. They're not as important as our lives yeah. and the safety. Yep. So, but now everything's working and we're on our way to Newport. Hey, where are we going? We're going to the Pacific Maritime Heritage Museum, and then we're going to go down to the um, see the seals on the docks. Seal docks? Did you bring scissors in the car? Yeah. He's gonna make a project. Cool. Whilst driving. So, one thing in the winter along the Oregon coast is it can get cold, and this week while we're here, we're supposed to be down the real feel in the 20s, low, low 20s, like almost to the teens. And it's rainy. So we're trying to find some indoor things. It's just a couple of days of rain and then we can do the outdoor stuff. Yeah. His butt cheeks are cold. His butt cheeks are cold. <laughs> <laughs> that, I, that happens when it's cold and rainy in it's Oregon. It's because he doesn't have his booster seat anymore to block the Who's cold a big and boy. Dead. Honestly, I like the... So Pacific Maritime Heritage Museum. <laughs> so is the admission free then? No, it's $5 for adults. Oh. Hey, bud. Do you want to start downstairs in a theater? Start, start with a movie theater? And... Oh, look at this. So we usually do end up going to the video, the theaters What's inside the, the National Parks and stuff to learn more. Yeah. This one's the and best first one we've got to work. You get to pick your video. Is, uh, harvestable product and where can we take that too loud. And the focus became pretty much on at that time it's fine. on the Keys are getting stuck, huh? Yeah. yeah, it needs a little maintenance. This. So this, you put a picture in, and you put this on, and you can see all this in 3D. Really? Mm -hmm. You know what you do? What? You move it in and out. It's got a slide on it. Oh. So you hold it with one hand, and then you pull that towards you with the other. See? Ooh. 
So this is like a so this is a stereograph 3D. But they um this is before viewfinders and it's a nice looking hat you got there. Do you like my hat? No. Not at all. It's not very nice. It's it's the prettiest hat I have. Oh, no. Yeah, totally. You look just like the Gorton's fisherman. Turn your head that way just a little bit. Look at that, man. You are ready to go. Give me a picture. Trust the Gorton's fisherman. Down at the docks here, uh, we learned the other night that so all these the the sea lions that are up here, they're all male. So these are the old men that are down here on the on the docks. These are they're all the the old bitter men, I guess. And then out here on the rocks, these are the teenage boys. So at certain times of the day, you'll see them like jumping off, doing spins and stuff like that. But they came up they come up here for the cold water. And the ladies stayed down around San Francisco. So when we were down in San Francisco a little while ago and we saw some sea lions, those were the ladies. So they don't they don't all travel together. They don't all travel together. So it's just the dudes hanging out and the ladies hanging out in their separate places. Is this Newport Aquarium? Nope. Oregon State Aquarium. Oh. Yes, we're going to the Oregon State Aquari Aquarium. And today we're doing a behind the scenes tour, which will be pretty cool. So it's $15 a person for that on top of the fees you already get. Um, which I think are, it's not really cheap, but we're waiting to get our actual tickets till we get in here because there is a 10% military discount. This isn't? Are you sure? Those are steampunk goggles in an aquarium. Right. So it's kind of a play on words. They're using steampunk, but they're also, in, it's about the sea, so they, they combine it and made sea punk. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's warmer in here. white stripe, black stripe, it kind of fades into the orange. Hi, oh, you look fat. Whoa, you have a giant fat head. Look at the nugget on that kid. It's like an orange on a toothpick. Okay, so where are we at again? We're at the Oregon Coast Aquarium. I can't get the name right. We're in Newport, Oregon. They have a beautiful aquarium on the coast. It is one of the cleanest aquariums we've ever been to. Yeah. I mean, the water is spotless. And we did a behind the scenes tour and learned about their filtration system, which is, you know, like a thousand times bigger than our pool was. And wow. So here's what I got from the tour. Number one, uh, turkey vultures. When it's hot outside, they just pee all over themselves. Uh, they to can, cool themselves off. Oh yeah, not, not just for like a party or anything, but and then they can also projectile vomit up to eight feet. So if you see a vulture looking like it's gonna vomit, just make sure you're away 
eight feet away? Yes, yeah, step eight feet away. How much does it cost? How much does it cost to feed a sea otter each year? $22,000. $22,000. One sea otter. Yeah. And it says, um, the guy showed us their kitchen. He said their kitchen is cleaner than most people's regular kitchen. Yeah. He said because they clean it multiple times a day. They have, you know, 15,000 animals here that they have to feed. So, I mean, you got to keep it clean and organized. They have a schedule. Everybody, you know, Bob gets this, Harry gets this, Sally gets this, and a specific vitamin, specific weights. Same thing for the sharks and the rays. They get, they even fast. Because in the wild, you know, they don't always <laughs> don't get food fasting. every day. Yeah. It's, it's the hottest new diet. Everybody's doing it. And they have the second oldest harbor seal in America at 45 years old. Yeah. So the, 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 the backstage or whatever it is tour that we took well worth the extra 15 bucks um, we did we got here very very lucky that we, we came when we did because in two days it closed actually tomorrow is the last day it's open it's going to close for a couple weeks because of the coronavirus um along with half of america <laughs> yeah so by the time you're watching this i don't know what month it's going to be but it's march for us here and you know it's it's cold and with the disease and everything kicking up everybody's just shutting things down um we got just another like a week and a half. A week and a half, yeah. Hopefully, it depends if they cancel flights yeah. or not. So we're going to Maine, but um, so this is kind of our, our last indoor thing while we're here in Newport, I think. And then the rest of it's outdoors, so we should be able to do things. So this may be our last day actually doing stuff in Newport. We're supposed to be here for a few more days, but the coronavirus thing, everything's kind of shutting down, and we don't want to get stuck here when we're supposed to go to Maine. Yeah. get some appointments done <laughs> we've got medical appointments and dental appointments and all sorts of things in maine and then casper's supposed to get maintenance done in portland for the month we're gone and so we're, we're waiting to hear back and see if they actually if they can take us earlier but so the devil's punch bowl state park is apparently everything's closed looks like the trail's closed <laughs> well we came here to check out the devil's punch bowl and we found it in the summer months you can walk down and low, low tide, you can walk around underneath there, but the tide's too high right now. Is that a puffin? Are those puffins? No. Puffins are Maine. Well, what is that? I don't know. I don't have my binoculars. Do you have yours, buddy? They're not puffins. Like yeah, I forget Sorry, what they're I, totally... I believe puffins are from new, the East Coast, so it's something else. West Coast puffins? West Coast. Sorry, we got totally squirreled there. Anyway. This is a free state park uh, area. It's kind of small. They call it more of a picnic area. It's really beautiful. Right down from the parking lot, right across from C Avenue or C Street is the beach access down to Devil's Punch Bowl. We're still not gonna go in it because the tide's not low enough, but we're still gonna go down the beach. Okay, so Susanna, if you were stuck at home and you had like, you couldn't leave the house really, but you had internet, you had cell phone, Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, the web, what would you do? I would check out hintinthetrail.com. What? Videos, check the out the Pinterest. Word on the street is Hint in the Trail is awesome. So one nice thing about having an RV park that's right by, well, the harbor and down the road from restaurants and stuff is you can actually get away from driving. So tonight we're gonna go down, where are we eating? The clear water? Corbin, are we gonna see some seals tonight? Oh. No, we're gonna see some sea lions. Ha ha ha, see, trick question. He, he even went, ha ha. <laughs> so yeah, the clear water, it actually sits right over the, the sea lion docks 
and we'll probably be able to hear them since I could hear them earlier today. This turned out to be our last normal dinner of 2020. The next day, the restaurants closed, grocery stores ran out of basic items, the world began to socially distance, and we decided to end season three and fly to Maine immediately. Two days later, we dropped Casper off for maintenance, stayed the night in a hotel, and got a flight home to Maine the next morning. We believed that we'd be back in a month or so to get Casper and start our travels again. That didn't happen. Instead, we stayed in New England and explored, filmed, and worked on a plan for what's next, and we hope you enjoy it. Season 4 of the COVID Chapters will premiere January 2021, and will take you to great locations, beautiful sights, and show you that you can still travel even during a pandemic. Thank you for hopping on. See you next year. Thank you for watching. We'd love to share our journey with you. So hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you know when a new video is uploaded. And don't forget to leave your comments down below and hit the like button.